Oh, you... That almost gave me a heart attack. I literally thought my mirror was about to just come crashing onto me. I know you're probably here because you want this makeup look. And that is exactly what I'm gonna give you. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I do my everyday makeup routine. This is literally how I do my makeup every single day except for the lashes. I just decided to be like extra today and add some lashes. And also because I remember to have this whole thing of lashes and I never use them, so I was like, why not? Uh, let's just like not waste any more time and let's just get into it. I already prepped my skin. Obviously I already washed it. I just showered um, and I put some moisturizer and SPF. If you have really oily skin like myself, Make sure you use a gel moisturizer and then add an SPF on top of that when the gel moisturizer is already soaking up into your skin. Now I'm just gonna go in with my milk makeup. I freaking love this stuff, especially if you have oily skin like myself. This is honestly my favorite freaking primer for my skin. Here's a little close up of my skin right now. It is kind of like really red for some reason. So now that you guys know what we're working with, let's continue. So since we obviously have a lot of pigmentation on our skin, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is correct. I highly recommend this right here. This is the Dior Forever Skin Corrector. I swear by this stuff. This right here is a holy grail for me, especially cause like I just showed you guys, I have a lot of pigmentation. And here's a really good tip when you're blending out your corrector is to take a fluffy brush like this one here and just stipple it into your skin. This way the product gets over any textured areas and like if you have any bumps or anything, it'll cover that area nicely. See, like we're already looking so much better. Now it's time for foundation and this has actually been my favorite foundation for a couple years now. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. I swear by this stuff, but please do not fucking sell it out because I will come for you. Now I'm taking my little stippling brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that shit in. I recently have been using like a stipple brush only because I noticed that I get like the full coverage blurred effect that I'm going for. Try to stay away from your under eyes though when you are applying your foundation. If you get any foundation under your eyes, your under eye will have a higher chance of creasing. Now that we have our base down, we're gonna go in with our under eye. Now I have been using two different concealers at the same time. I use the L'Oreal Infallible and then the Woke Concealer by Morphe. I just go ahead and take the L'Oreal and like that down my nose and then above right there and then I take the woke to the sides go ahead and blend down the nose and on the forehead and then take this concealer and go up your nose not up your nose <laughs> up to the sides of your nose like that because that's already creating like the contour for your nose if you get what I'm saying freaking love this stuff man L'Oreal you done it again now that that is there I'm gonna very quickly take a pink powder and set that under eye when you use a pink powder under your eyes, it gives it a very illuminating effect. And this is a tip that a lot of makeup artists use. You see that? Like what? Girl, yes. And I do go ahead and do the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I take a fluffy brush. This is a Real Techniques brush, by the way. And I just use this on the rest of my face. Okay, now we are looking cute and even. So now that we have like the base done and everything, we're gonna go in with our blush. I use the Milani blush. I just take a slanted brush like that. And here's a really good tip when applying blush. You don't wanna put it on the apples of your cheeks. You actually wanna do it on your temples if you're trying to get like that snatched look. I usually just apply it up here. Now taking our bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers. It's Physician Formula. And the reason that I really like this bronzer is because it's very natural looking. It looks almost like if you have a tan. If you think you have like a big forehead, I would highly recommend putting bronzer on the sides and then at the top. But if you have a shorter forehead, I would only recommend putting bronzer on the sides right here. Now that we're all like bronzed up and shit, we're gonna move on to the contour. Um, I use the Makeup Forever. This shit is amazing. This is what I use to contour my nose. I just go ahead and take a fluffy brush like this one. Go on the bottom of my nose like this and then to the sides. So it's looking a little crazy at first, I know. And now we're taking our beauty blender and we're gonna go to the sides of our nose a little bit to clean it up and then the bridge of our nose. And then now I'm taking this yellow color right here from this contour palette and I'm gonna go ahead with a brush like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take that yellow color and run it down the sides of my nose to kind of clean up that contour. A very simple contour process, I promise you guys. And then also down the bridge of my nose. I know it looks really crazy right now, but just hang in there. And you can always like just go back and kind of fix it up however you want. And then taking that same powder actually, I'm gonna go ahead and underline contour on my cheeks. 
so it kind of emphasizes it and i just leave that powder on there for now now that we're looking very cute and snagged i'm gonna go ahead and take fluffy brush and start doing my eyes i'm using this koki professional palette i'm going in with this brown shade right there this one I'm sure you guys have a palette that might have something similar but i just literally take a brown shade and just go over my eyes like that nothing crazy it's literally just tap and then swipe I literally don't even know how to do my eyes and people are always asking like oh my god your eyes look so good yeah this is literally all i do and sometimes it looks a little crazy so i like to just diffuse it a little bit with another fluffy brush i'm no expert you know what i'm saying i just kind of like do whatever i think looks good i guess moving along to the brows i like to set my eyebrows with this glue from nyx and i glue them down to my face so that they don't move out of place Oh my god, I rhyme all the time, I swear to god. Like, I don't even try to rhyme. Like, what is going on? I recently just discovered this product right here by Wet n Wild. It's called the Ultimate Brow. And guys, if you guys can get this, freaking go get it. Like, it is so good. And I've never used, like, Benefits brow products or anything like that. But I'm assuming that this works just as good as that. Using this, here, let me see if I can zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm just gonna take this pencil right here. And start underlining the brows, you know what I'm saying? Just go at it. I've been really into this like thin eyebrow look recently. I don't really like like the curvature or anything. I like to keep them very like straight. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Like, I think that looks so good. Let me do the other one. I think we're looking pretty good. Like I said, don't worry too much about the shape of the brow. I know this one is looking really messy right now. Like I can already tell like, oh my God, what the fuck is that? This is literally how I always do my brows. Like they look very weird at first, but then it comes together. So just give it a chance. Now that we have somewhat of a shape, I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal because this shit is a fucking gold. If you don't own this, you need to own it. And I'm literally just gonna shape my brows with it. We're looking good. I'm gonna take an actual eyebrow brush. I'm gonna dip it into some powder. I'm gonna go ahead and draw some strokes in the beginning. Looking good. So I'm pretty happy with how my eyebrows turned out. So now let's just diffuse our bake, our contour, and then our cheeks as well. And this is where I take my highlighter. A really good tip is to use an angled brush like this and dip that into your highlighter. And then run it down your nose like this and use the, the tip of it for the tip of your nose. It just gets it like more precise, you know what I'm saying? And then I just go ahead and use a regular, you know, like highlight brush for the rest of my face. The highlighter that I just put on is the Master Chrome by Maybelline. This is my literal holy grail highlighter okay and it is so inexpensive i freaking love it i highly recommend it if you guys have not tried it moving along to my eyes okay so for my eyes i like to just keep it very natural like on a day-to-day -day basis i don't put falsies on or anything i actually haven't put falsies on in a minute but honestly it's only because i think i look so fucking weird when i put them on but today we're gonna try to put them on and hopefully it looks good I literally have a whole thing of false lashes right here that I never use. So we're just gonna pick out a pair and attempt to put them on today. I do wanna do something kind of like natural, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna do anything like crazy. What do we think about these? I feel like that's too much, hold on. Are those too thick? I don't know. They look like caterpillars. I'm just like not used to eyelashes. Would those be cute? So I do have these. These could be really cute. They're very small. I think I'm gonna go with these. This is called Little Black Dress by Kiss. So hopefully they look all right. Got my scissors, cause I do have to cut them a little bit. I don't even know, like are you supposed to cut the front? Yes, I'm aware that these are nose hair scissors, but I don't use them for my nose hairs. I use them for my lashes, okay? Yeah, that's gonna look cute. All of a sudden I can't find glue. Found it. This is actually my favorite glue. It's actually kind of dirty, but it's the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to my lashes. What's your guys' like favorite pair of lashes? I want to know. So a really good tip, like when I used to put lashes on, is I would put the lash glue on the lash, and then I would wait about like 30 seconds or until it got like tacky, and then I would just apply it on with some tweezers, which I do not have. <laughs> Hold on a second. Got some tweezers. 
I don't know how like girls apply their lashes with their fingers. I'm like, dang, that's some badass shit. I can't do that. I personally have to use tweezers all the time. And then when I'm done putting my lash on, I put my skin over the, the band. And doing this will make it look like you have lash extensions and you won't be able to see the, the actual lash band. She's looking cute. Ooh, these lashes are so cute. I had these in my drawer for like a year, I think. Very cute. They're very like subtle, but cute. It looks like I have lash extensions. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other eyelash off camera because I know it's gonna take me a while, so BRB. I literally thought I was recording this whole time and I wasn't. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking the NYX lip liner in the color London. I usually use London or the color natural in the NYX pencils. It's either London or natural every day, all day. Okay, that's basically all I said. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I mainly just do this to get rid of like the foundation lip look, how your lips can get like white and stuff on the sides. Yeah, you don't want that. I do take it a little bit above my cupid's bow just to kind of round off the lips. Now, to clean up my lips, I just go ahead and take a little edgy brush and I dip that in concealer and I go around my lips to clean them up. Now that's what I'm talking about. I really want to get lip fillers, guys. What should I do? Leave a comment. Should I get them? Should I not? I don't know. I am on the verge of setting up an appointment and doing it. I actually had already set up an appointment, but I canceled it because I was like, oh my god, what if I'm not ready, you know? And it's a very expensive. And then totally optional, but you can like go ahead and add some gloss, you know what I'm saying? And another really good tip for your lips, if you are using like a bold color, is to take your thumb go like that and then the excess like lipstick will stay on your thumb so that it doesn't get on your teeth i completely forgot to tell you guys but i also like to take my contour and like sweep it under my chin because i do have a double chin okay but you guys can't really see it because you guys are above me like on the camera it's facing downwards this angle is giving this angle is literally heaven sent it's all about the angles my friends but i actually have a double chin so what i do is i like to put bronzer under my chin like this and then down it just gives it the illusion that you're chiseled and then i kind of just do it on the sides here other side and then finally to finish off the look i take my holy grail which is the urban decay all-nighter but you bet knew about it i actually last year went swimming in my pool with this and my makeup stayed in place so if you want to take you swimming on the first day all-nighter has your back And we are done. That is how I do my makeup, guys. Here's a little up close shot. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this one, just go ahead and give this video a like because it lets me know that you liked it. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next. Peace. <laughs>